Hey there, welcome back to another episode. This time we're looking at FUBO stock again. So of course, we have looked at this one previously, but what's been happening over the past five days, or even basically over the past month, we've been seeing a big sell-off action since about the 22nd of December, but obviously today, or at least over the past few days, um, from about the 11th until the 12th, we can see we're seeing a decent increase now, and things look like they might be starting to go back up. So yeah, in tonight's video, I'm giving all of my opinions on that kind of good stuff. If it sounds like a good plan, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel you guys know we're trying to grow the channel as fast as possible and we really have been killing it recently so let's just keep it going and see how high we can grow on top of that guys of course if you did want to come talk to us on discord you can link to our discord is down in the description but now that i've said all that let's jump straight into the video So before we fully do begin guys, I need to say that one, I am not a financial advisor, and two, this is obviously just all my opinions and what I personally think. It's not guaranteed to be 100% fact, and things can always change, so please do bear that in mind. But yeah guys, obviously if you want to know what the company does and all that kind of good stuff, we did cover it in a previous video, but basically it's kind of in the TV industry. So of course, like I said, not going off that one too much, we're just looking at the charts today and mainly over the past, um, you know, one week to be honest, because with this chart we are really starting to see a bit of a breakout happened. Now it has been trading pretty flat actually over the majority of the month or at least since about the 32nd let's say or sorry the 4th of January. So obviously on the, 40, or the, on the 4th of January we were pretty flat uh, after that big sell-off from obviously the 22nd onwards. So then from there we were pretty flat started to make a little bit of an increase but ever since that price of about 27.33 we were actually relatively flat between the 27 and 28 dollar range. Um, you know didn't even break out to 29 dollars for quite a while and then of course on yesterday uh, on the 11th we saw a big increase taking us up today so of course currently now we're sat at $32 which really is quite a big increase honestly it's up 21% so a real question for tonight's video is can this growth continue well in my personal opinion I think what we are seeing now is not bad at all I think we are actually in a good period now my personal view on this one in the previous video was that I didn't see too much big growth happening and perhaps I did get this one wrong and of course I do get things wrong things do change so please don't think that I'm a hundred percent fact but things appear to be looking good for this one and honestly I think in my opinion we may be seeing a small day of sell-off tomorrow based on the moves that we have been seeing today and that's simply due to the fact that we are up so high and honestly I don't think that's a bad thing at all because in my personal view now that we are still starting to see uh, more interest in this one I think we could really start to pick up a bit more and carry ourselves up past that $40 mark potentially and of course that would happen over a more slow period of time I don't think it'd be happening rapidly so please do bear that one in mind but you know maybe over the next month or so we could definitely touch that $40 mark I think that'd be amazing honestly when it comes to this one I personally do think there are some decent profits to be made potentially um, if we do play our cards right and of course if you do pick a decent enough entry point so overall guys is this one a buy honestly I don't see it as a bad buy at all but of course maybe it's not the biggest profit out there however with a market cap of 2.21 um, billion and of course the stock price of $33, things aren't doing too bad at all and it really is getting to that point now where it is looking like it may grow and even go up a bit further. So honestly I do see a lot of potential with this one for the future, let's hope it won't underperform, let's hope we can get that growth in with it. So I hope you enjoyed the quick video guys, if you did please do leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one, goodbye until then.